Hey guys, it's All Things Disney, and today I'll be showing you how to make this goofy charm on the Rainbow Loom. And this is my own original design, but it is inspired by Tutorials by A's Baby Panda Charm. The supplies you will need for this tutorial is a Rainbow Loom, a hook, or a Rainbow Loom hook or a crochet hook, and then another Rainbow Loom hook or a crochet hook, or a holding instru instrument, because we will need to hold his hat on something so you need a holding instrument I'm just using using an extra hook and then you'll need bands in green black brown orange white blue and then a skin tone and for the skin tone I recommend using one of the lighter colors like that so um, and before we get started also check out my other videos like my Pluto charm, my Harley Quinn charm, and my Mickey Mouse charm. So let's get started and we're going to start with the hat. So let me just move these over. So we're going to start with the pegs in the standard configuration with the arrow facing towards you. So you're going to start by going with one single band on the left peg, the top to the next one. Then you're going to take it in your finger and twist it around once. And we're going to do the same in the center, so you're just going to place one single band on the top center peg, and then you're going to take it and twist it around and back onto the peg. So these should be doubled over. And then you're going to do the same on the right, and just twist it back on. So it looks like this, and they should not be connected in any way. Now we're just going to take double of our green bands, and go down once on the right, another double of our green bands, go down once in the center, and double green bands, and on the left, and we're going to go down one more time with the double green bands on each row. So on the left, the right, and we're going to do the same in the center, and on the left. So it should look like this. Now we're going to go down one more ex one extra time in the center. And we're going to go in diagonally from the left to the center. And then from the right to the center. So it looks like this. Now we're going to make our horizontal or triangle bands. So we're going to go down once on a triangle here on these three pegs. Once here. and one's here, and these are all single green bands. And we're just going to twist this center one back around once. I did it wrong, so you're just going to, if yours does like fall off the, the pegs, just put it back on and then twist it around. So it looks like that. Now we're just going to place one cap band on the bottom peg in the center. You're just going to twist it around that peg two or three times. So it looks like that. And now we're going to use our hook. And you're going to go inside and grab the top two bands, which for me are going to the right. And then the top two on the other side, I mean the top two going to the other side, you're going to go back in and grab the next top two, and we're going to do the same thing and grab the bottom two that go up to the center. So it looks like this. Now we can go all the way up in the center. So you're just going to keep grabbing the bottom two and bringing them up. 
And then on the last one, you're, it's going to be a little tighter because it's only one, but it's doubled over. Now we're going to do the same on the left and the right. So you're just going to go inside the cap band and grab the bottom two. And hook it up to the next one. Grab the bottom two and hook it up to the next one. And then we're finally at the doubled over one, so you're just going to bring that up. And it's going to be a little tighter. So now it looks like this. And we're going to do the same on the right. So the right should be more like the left. The center, you don't have to go in any horizontal bands, but on the right you do. And just keep grabbing the bottom one and going up. So now it looks like this. Now we're going to take our holding hook or whatever you want to hold it. And you're going to go inside all these bands. And then you can take them off the loom. And then I'm just going to grab that one. And then you can pull it off. So it'll look kind of like this. And you're going to take one single black band, take it in your fingers and go into the center. And then you're just going to twist it around once. So that'll make our goofy hat. Now you're just going to leave that holding hook on the side. And now we can start with the body. So you're just going to place one single black band on the top center peg to the next one. And move this back over. Then you're going to take another double of your black bands and go from the center to the left, the right, and then the center to the left. So it looks like this, and then go down with your double black bands once on the left, and then once on the right. So it looks like this. Now we can take double of our skin tone or skin color and go down once in the center. And then we're going to actually go down two more times in the center with our double skin tone. with double bands and then we're going to go down once on each side with the skin tone so once on the right and once on the left and we're still only using double bands now we're going to go diagonally from the left to the center closing off the face and then diagonally with double of your skin color bands from the right to the face. So it looks like this. Now we're going to do the next, so you're just going to take another double of your black bands and go down once from where the face closes off in the center. Now we're going to start his like shirt or sweater I guess. So you're going to take double of your orange bands and go diagonally to the left from the center peg of the band you just placed. And then do the same thing diagonally to the right. Now we're going to take double black bands, go down once on the left for his like black vest, and once on the right, like that. Now we can take another double of our orange bands and go down once in the center. Then go down once more on the center. And then we'll do it once on the right. And once on the left. So it should look like this. Now we're going to take double of our blue bands for the pants. You're going to go down once on the right, once in the center, and once on the left. So it looks like this. Now we're going to take another double of our blue bands and go down once again on the left for the foot or leg 
and then once again on the right. Don't put anything else on the center because he only has two legs and they're here. Now for his cap bands on the legs, you're going to use our, our brown bands. You're going to take one of them and twist it around that last peg where you just ended with the pants and twist it around two or three times. And then the same thing on the other side, two or three times, so it looks like that. So our goofy should look like this now. And now we're going to do the arms. So you're going to take our whites, just take one of them, and twist it around the tip, of, not the tip, but like the metal part of your hook if you're using a rainbow loom hook, and twist it around two or three times. I'm just doing two. And then you're going to take double of your orange bands for the shirt, and put it on the tip of your hook, and then slide those white loops onto the orange band and then put it back on your hook. Then take it in your fingers and bring it onto either the left or the right arm where the shoulder is, which should be the one, two, three, four, five, sixth peg from the top. So if you count six pegs from the top of your rainbow loom, here is where you're going to place it. And it should be just where the shoulder is coming from the neck. Now we're going to do the exact same step for the other side. You're just going to take our white band again and twist it around the top of your hook two or three times. Then take double of your orange bands and put them on the tip of your hook. And then slide those orange, not orange, um, white loops onto the orange bands and bring them back onto your hook. So it looks like this. And then we're going to take them in our fingers again and put it on the other side of your goofy. So now he has his little arms. So it looks like this. Now we're going to do the ears. So you're going to take your hook again, twist one single black band around the top of your hook two or three times and then take double of your black bands, put them on the tip of your hook, and then slide those loops onto the double black bands and put it back on your hook. Then we're going to do it two more times. So you take another double black band, put it on the tip of your hook, and slide everything onto there, and put it back on your hook. Then we're going to do that one more time, double black bands, on the tip of your hook and then slide everything onto that and put it back on your hook like this then we can place that on either the right or the left it doesn't matter so put it on one of the sides so it looks like this and we're gonna do the same step so just take one of your black bands twist it around your hook two or three times take double of your black bands put them on the tip of your hook and slide those black loops onto that and then slide it back slide those double black bands back onto your hook like this double of your black bands put them on your hook it's the same thing again and then slide everything onto those and the same step one more time So it looks like that. And now we're going to put it on the other side of our goofy. Like with the arms, just put it on the other side. And it should be on the peg. I forgot to mention the second peg from the top. If you count down, it's the second one where it's coming down on the head. So it looks like that. Now we're going to do the eyes, so you're going to take two of your black bands, but we're only going to take one first. And go down on the third peg from the top and twist that single black band around that peg two, I mean three or four times. Like that. And then the same on the opposite side, which should also be the third peg from the top. Three or four times. 
then we're going to take one of our skin color, color, skin color bands and put a triangle band around those and then we're just going to ring the eyes up and around from underneath that horizontal band. You're just going to take them and bring them up and around onto that peg. I just took that off. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that horizontal band is on the top of it. And then you're going to grab the bands, bring them up and around, and get all of them onto it, like that. So now your Goofy has its eyes. And now we are going to do the horizontal bands on the body. And before we do that, we're just going to take one more of our skin color and put a horizontal band around underneath the three pegs we just did for the eyes. Then we're going to take one of our blue bands, a single one, and go on these three pegs near the feet, the top one above where we ended with the gray, not gray, where the brown cap bands are, you're going to go one peg from that above it and make a triangle there, but you're going to take your hook and grab the bottom, like, bottom area and bring it up onto that middle peg above it. Now take another one of your blue bands and twist it around the top peg above that one on the top three pegs and we're just going to leave that alone. And then take one of your orange bands and twist and put it around the three pegs above that one. And we don't need to put anything on the next three because that's where it goes in and we don't need to put anything there. And now we're ready for the hat. So you're just going to take the... So this is a pretty complicated part, so make sure you follow the directions carefully. So there are going to be like three parts of the hat. Three like sets of four bands. So you're just going to separate them on your hook a little bit. So it looks like this. And then you're going to take this one, the first set of four, take it off your hook and onto your fingers, and slide it onto this top center peg. And this may be a little hard, even for me it's hard because these are double little bands and they're a little hard to get. So then just leave it like that. Now if your bands got scrunched up a lot together again, you're going to separate them one more time. And then I'm just going to take the next set of four. So separate them. Take the next set of four. You can take them one at a time too, and then put them on the same peg. I'm actually taking them two by two this time because it'll be a little easier if you do that. And you're going to take the other two if you do it like me. Or take one of them because I only grabbed one. And I'm just going to move that one onto that center peg as well. And then one more time, I still have one band. If you were able to get all four, then that's good because you don't have to grab them all but one by one. But it's a little tricky, so if you did grab them one by one, then that's fine as well. So now it should look like this. And then we're just going to take the last four and put them on the second peg from the top on the left. like that and I'm still taking them two by two and then I'm just going to take the other one the other two mine fell apart so yours shouldn't have fallen apart but mine actually fell apart so I'm just going to grab some random bands at that and put them onto this peg So mine didn't actually work. 
mine fell apart, but if yours didn't fall apart, then yours should look like this without any problems, and it should just be on these two pegs. So, that one is like the most complicated step. So that's like really tricky. So, um, now we are, are ready to start using our hooks and start looming or hooking up. So you're going to go in the peg with the brown, the brown cap band, and you're going to grab the bottom two blue ones and bring them up on either side. So I'm starting on the left and then I'm going to do the same on the right. Just go in and grab the bottom two blue bands and bring them up to the next peg. Then we're going to go in the center, grab the bottom two blue bands, and bring it up. And you don't need to go any in any bands in the center. However, you do have to go in horizontal bands on the left and the right. And then you're just going to keep on grabbing the bottom two blue bands and bringing them up on both sides. And if you only grabbed one like me, you're just going to go back in and take the other and bring it up. Now we're ju I'm just going to go up all the way in the center because I think that's the easiest rower column. So you're just going to keep on going in, grabbing the top one like that. Now we're going to do the same on the other side, but you're going in the horizontal band, grabbing the bottom two orange and bringing them up. Go inside the horizontal band, grab the bottom two black and bring them up. And then go inside the right, grab the bottom two orange, and bring them up. Bottom two black, bring them up. So it looks like this. Now we can go in the diagonal, so you're going to go in where the arms are. Grab the bottom two orange ones and go diagonally from the left to the center. And then the same on the right, go inside where the arms are and go diagonally. So it looks like this. Now we're going to go in all of those bands and grab the bottom neck one, the bottom two black ones, bring them up, then grab the top two skin color ones, and go diagonally from the neck band, and then the next to the top two, and go the other way. And then you're going to, before you actually go in the center, and my bands are very messy over here, um, you're just going to take one of your black bands, twist it around your hook two or three times, or three or four times actually, and then you leave it on the tip of your hook, and then we're going to grab that bottom double, the last double skin color ones in the neck pad band, and then you're going to grab it before before you hook it up, you're going to slide those black bands that you just hooked up, um, twisted on your hook and bring them up and around onto that skin color peg. So that's for, for the nose. Now we can just go all the way up in the center, because like I said, it's the easiest one to do. Now we're going to go in the, on the left, go inside the cap band, grab the bottom two, hook it up, grab the bottom two again on the left, and hook them up, and then we're going to pause there, where the diagonal is, go to the other side, grab the bottom two, hook them up. Mine are actually. Then grab the bottom two again, go in the cap band, grab the bottom two, and hook them up. Now, on the right, which is the easier side, you're just going to go inside where the ear is and bring the bottom one up diagonally to the center. And then for this one, it's a little more tricky because we have both the hat and the ear there. So you're just going to go inside the hat and the ear and grab the bottom two black bands and go diagonally make sure you grab only the bottom two. You don't want to grab any of the ear bands or the 
hat bands. And then we're going to go into all, where all of these bands meet up. But before that, make sure your loom looks like this. And then we can finally go in, grab the bottom, single black band. It will be pretty tricky to do because you have all of these bands on it, including the hat bands and the diagonal bands and everything else. So it's even tricky for me. So if you want, you can just like pull it out a little so it will help you to find where it is. And... I hope you guys are having less trouble with it than me, because I seem to have a lot of trouble with it. If you're still having trouble with it like me, if you want, you can just grab another single of your black bands, ignore that band, put it on this peg, and then just go in all of them and grab that one, which I think would be easier because in this case, I cannot grab that. So I'm just going to go in and grab that one, and then bring it up. Make sure it's holding all of your bands. And then you're just going to go in from the outside, grab the bottom single one, bring it up and around the peg, and then pull it off to a slip knot. Now we are going to take off our goofy. So just take them off with your hook. And I do recommend using um, your hook. And if you have seen my other videos, I also recommend it there pretty much every time. Um, because if you do not use your hook, there's a chance of a band snapping or breaking. And this is a pretty hard process. And we do not want our goofies breaking because that would be really frustrating. And then make sure all your bands are coming off. And this is actually I'm gonna make sure this one doesn't fall off. And I'm just gonna take off these bands. So you're gonna switch your goofy around to the side where the nose is. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to like stretch everything out so it's the way you would like it to be. So I'm just stretching out the body parts and stuff. And then we're going to take this. If you want it to be a charm, you can keep it like this. So you can just ha have it hanging around. But if you want it to be a mini figure or action figure, you're just going to take any random bands in the back of his head and take that cap um, slip knot and pull it through those bands. So now your goofy looks like this. So when it's the way you like it to be, you will just then that's pretty much it. So um. So that's it for this tutorial, and it's a little harder than my others, so I apologize that it was a little harder, but thanks for watching this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you real soon. Bye!